Tesla Motors has taken the world by storm and it's only the beginning. Today you can see a growth of electric vehicles everywhere you go, whether you like it or not, electric vehicles is going to become the next common source of transportation in the upcoming years. Tesla, a growing electric motor company, are producing electric vehicles with high quality aesthetics and features that make their products stand out from the rest of the other vehicle companies. There are some discernible questions people are out to wonder, will Tesla be the future? We first need to understand what is an electric vehicle. A short acronym for that is EVs. These electric vehicles do not consume any sort of gasoline for energy. Instead, they have large batteries that uses electricity to power the vehicle. As EVs become easier to produce and charge, the cost of having one will become much easier to obtain. Especially the added benefit of keeping their environment clean gives higher incentives for people to purchase electric vehicles. When comparing an EV to a gas vehicle, gas vehicles are more likely to charge more for having to refill up their gas tank. This is not the case for EVs at all where they are just required to charge their own battery. There are big odds that the gas price will continue to increase. According to Mike Elwood at Azure Dynamics, the operating cost of an EV is 1-2 to two cents per mile versus 10 cents per mile for a gasoline powered vehicle. This causes the market demand of EVs to skyrocket in the near future due to the little to no cost in recharging them. Tesla was first founded in 2003 by American entrepreneurs Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening. It was created in Silicon Valley and named after a Serbian American inventor Nikola Tesla. Later both Eberhard and Tarpening left Tesla and made Elon Musk the new chief executive of the company and still runs it to this day. These groups of engineers envisioned the world's transition to sustainable transportation, so they wanted to make electric cars without compromise. The company employed less than a thousand employees and had less than 150 million dollars in revenue. Yet they grew financially over the years. A chart from Macro Trends shows that the quarterly earnings in 2012 was a fraction of a billion, meanwhile that in today's world it is 7.2 billion. At the moment, Tesla is making a small variety of vehicles ranging from sports cars to family SUVs. They produced their very first vehicle known as the Roadster in 2008, which is known to be a fast and luxurious vehicle. In 2012, Tesla launched the Model S, a four-door sedan that is more catered to the casual public and then they released the Model X soon after in 2015 which is an SUV larger than its previous predecessor yet it is more expensive. The lower price Model 3 came out in 2017 and the upcoming Model Y and the rebranded Roadster will soon to be released in 2020. Their entire history consists of them producing vehicles from the very high end to the general audiences. Tesla did release these three vehicles that people can get their hands on now, the Model X, the S, and the 3. The three models have some similar characteristics yet each discernible model has its own unique specifications. The Model X can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds. It has cargo of 88 cubic feet and drives 305 miles in one full charge costing 77,815 at the least. The Model S can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds, has 28 cubic feet of storage, and drives 373 range costing 72,615. The Model 3 can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds, has 15 cubic feet of cargo which is much smaller than the rest, and drives 310 range costing about 33,315. Each of these cars have their own different specifications that is tailored to different people. However, if you are a car enthusiast, the Model X would be the right place for you. Meanwhile, the Model 3 is the cheapest for the consumer, in case if you don't have a lot of that dosh in your wallet. New vehicles will be available in the near future. The next anticipated vehicles are the newly upgraded Roadster and Model Y. Based on Andrew Hawkins' analysis, the compact SUV and Model Y is set to come out the year 2020. It is similar to its relative, the Model 3 sedan, yet it will have 300 mile range going from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and can fit up to 7 people, believe it or not. 
the price comes at a minimum of 39000 Some designs that make it unique are the panoramic glass ceilings that allow the passengers to have a full view of the sky while remaining in the vehicle. There will be 66 feet of cargo space as well, and the best part about the vehicle is its full capability of self-driving. The older Tesla vehicles didn't have the complete feature until now with the upcoming Model Y. Tesla is making remarkable improvements in their upcoming models. The brand new 2020 Roadster model will have the top speeds of 250 miles per hour as well as reaching 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. Now, according to Elon Musk, this is the very first vehicle to integrate the all-wheel drive as a standard package. The Roadster can reach up to 620 mile range, and the best of it all is that you can actually fit 4 people inside this beast. All of this comes at a cost of $200,000, and yes, this vehicle will be tailored to those high-end folks who have a love affair with sports cars. There are plenty of features out there that make Tesla stand out from the rest of the other vehicles, where it is all technology, power, and environmental friendliness that comes in one package. Although it may seem expensive for the average consumer, it is something that loyal fans are willing to pay. According to John O'Dell, the interior design is structured around its electric powertrain and battery. The general shape of the Tesla looks flat like a skateboard, which gives plenty of room for its interior and cargo space from the rear to front. It's also considered to have the most aerodynamics for a four-door vehicle because of the removed engine. Since there is no longer an engine in that vehicle, the front of the car is now being used as cargo space. That front storage compartment is now known as the frunk. There is no fuel tank on that Tesla, and instead there is a large battery pack that contains the energy storage and cooling system that can be tinkled with some electronic controls. The 1200 pound battery strategically placed underneath the vehicle strengthens its center of gravity, allowing drivers to make tighter turns without the worry of tipping over. All of the buttons, switches, joysticks, and handles that are used to control the vehicle are conveniently organized into one 17 inch display screen. It provides clear, easy to use on screen controls. Tesla's propulsion system contains up to 17 moving parts within the vehicle, which is practically maintenance free compared to a standard vehicle that could have about 200 moving parts instead. Since it is an electric vehicle, it comes with a software that includes free wireless updates. This means that you won't need to go to a dealership to get an expensive modification along with any new software. The makers of Tesla expressed the idea that the passenger's car can be both exciting to drive and friendly to the environment. Tesla also produced goods that are outside of the vehicle business like solar panels. They bought out a solar panel company labeled Solar City and later changed their old name from Tesla Motor to Tesla Inc later in 2017 to let people understand that they sell more than just vehicles. On Tesla's webpage, they have explanations to why they are producing solar panels and it's basically the ability to take control of your energy production to experience that energy independence. Solar gives you that greater control of that cost instead of depending on some utility company. Their power wall integrates with solar panels to store more excess energy generated during the day and makes it available when it's necessary. They are also manufacturing solar panels to accompany the vehicles, allowing drivers to charge their vehicles at home for free. The main purpose about all of the solar panels is to provide the consumers free source of energy. We understand that the products Tesla make are now out there, but who buys them? According to the article Tesla Owners Demographics by Age, Income, Gender, Home, and Value, they have demographic statistics revealing the age, gender, and the average income of the Tesla owner. While the entire US population median age is 38 years old, the median age for Tesla owners is the age of 54. The Model X owners are 29% female and 71% male. Model S owners similarly are 23% female and 77% male. The average household income of Model X owners are 143,000. Meanwhile, the Model S is 153,000. And overall, 88% of Tesla owners own their homes. The data shows that the majority of owners happen to be male with high levels of wealth and are generally old. 
Although it may seem that Tesla is targeting the older demographic for their vehicles, in reality it's the cost that's stopping everyone else from getting their hands on these electric vehicles. Tesla has plenty of goals when it comes to making electronic vehicles. The company's mission is to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport by bringing compelling mass market electric cars to market as soon as possible. They want to make electric vehicles the next big mainstream where everybody can be environmentally clean and cost efficient. Tesla is ahead of the curve when it comes to design aesthetics, build quality, technology, and making it work as a complete package. There will be plenty of other competitors out there, however Tesla is what needed the electric vehicle business to become mainstream. Knowing all of this information and having total understanding of Tesla's vision for the future, I myself stand with them for what they are trying to push. Owning a Tesla carries plenty of benefits that outweigh any con you throw at it. As technology advances, gas vehicles will be put behind us and electronic vehicles will be the new standard. I've always thought about buying a Tesla model model and doing this extensive research gives me a higher incentive to own one now. Before the smartphone was the telephone, before the printer was a typewriter, and before the light bulb was the candle. What do you think will happen to gas vehicles in the next 10 years? It's clear that there's only so much gas that can be used in the earth before it's all in the atmosphere and entirely gone. Electric vehicles are arising from plenty of other companies too because of the potential in electric transportation. Tesla, who are the ones to commit such potential in the beginning, made a large success from it. They are still releasing more models in the future and soon vehicles won't require engines that will emit carbon into our atmosphere.